بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ایم ڈاکٹر محب اللہ وزیر اینڈ دیر آر سم موومنٹس ایٹ دا فوٹ وچ ان ایڈیشن ٹو انورشن اینڈ ای ورشن اینڈ آئی ڈسکس دیٹ لوک بٹ بفور دیٹ لوک دس از دا لیٹر میری اولس میڈل میری اولس اینڈ لوک دس از دا ٹیلس بون دس از کیلکینس نیویکولر بون اینڈ تھری کیونی فارم اینڈ کیو بائٹ دیز آر دا میٹاٹارسل بوز دس از دا ایکل جائنٹ the septal joint their mid tarsal joints okay now one movement is called as varus movement and another is called as valgus movement the varus movement is the inward movement of the calcaneus like this the inward movement of the calcaneus on the talus while the valgus the valgus movement is the outer movement of the calcaneus on the talus the, the calcaneus and talus move upon one another when the calcaneus moves medially it is called as varus and when the calcaneus moves laterally that is called as valgus movement then another movement at the foot is called as the abduction and adduction adduction is when this fore part of the foot it moves medially upon the mid part like this This is adduction where this four part of the foot which moves upon the midfoot laterally. This is called as abduction of the foot. And then there is called as pronation and supination. In, sup, in pronation, the big toe, in pronation, the big toe moves downward and the little toe moves up. That is called as pronation. While in supination, it is the reverse. That is the big two moves up and the little two moves down that is the supination now in inversion there is first varus movement followed by adduction and followed by supination and then the inversion as a whole will occur while in eversion first there is valgus then there is abduction followed by pronation then then the eversion will occur These are the small movements that occurred at the foot as well. Thank you very much.